Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 9.2 Relate hundredth and decimals Our essential question is How can you record the hundredth as fractions and decimals? Okay, so in the past lesson we learned how to write tenth as decimals Like this, if we have two tenth we said it's equal 0.22 tenth like this and in today's lesson we'll learn how to write hundredth in decimals so let's unlock the problem in the 2008 summer olympic games the winning time in the men's 100 meter butterfly race was only 100th second faster than the second place it's really small time what decimal represents this fraction of second you can write hundredth as fractions or decimals. Here he says, circle the numbers you need to use. We only need this number one hundredth and we need to write it as decimals. Okay, so we have here also two ways. The first way we will use the model and place value chart. First, we need to shade one hundredth of the model. Okay, so this model is divided into 100 equal parts each part represents 100th so we need only 100 so we'll shade only one small square so this one small square is 100 we'll write it 1 over 100 and we'll read it 100th okay in the place value chart here we have no holes so zero at once we have no tenth so zero at tenth and we only have one at hundredth so we have one at hundredth so if we write this number we write zero then the decimal point then zero at tenth then one at hundredth and we read it one hundredth so one hundredth we write it like this zero point zero one and for example if it's 500 we write it like this we have no holes we write zero then the decimal point then we have zero tenth we have nothing at tenth and then we have five so we read it 500 if we have for example 13 hundredth we write it like this zero at once the smell point and we write the 13 so here we say 13 hundredth but here we put this zero so we can say 500 if we didn't put this zero if we wrote it like this 0 0.5 this means 5 tenth this means 5 tenth so 13 hundredth we write it like this 0 0.13 we read it 13 hundredth here we have another way use a number line label the number line with equivalent decimals locate the point 100 okay so if this is 0 hundredth and this is the whole one which is 100 hundredth so here is 10 hundredth 20 hundredth 30 hundredth then 40 hundred, 50 hundred, 60 hundred, 70 hundred, 80 hundred, 90 hundred, 100. Here, if we are in decimals, 0 hundred, 10 hundred, 20 hundred, then 30 hundred, then 40 hundred, then 50 hundred, then 60 hundred, then 70 hundred, then 80 hundredth then 90 hundredth okay but we here need only one hundredth so if this is 10 hundredth one hundredth it's really this small part this will be one hundredth two three this will be two three four five six seven eight nine hundredth here ten hundredth so what names the same amount as 100 where it's like the 0 0.01 
so the winning time was 0 0.01 which is 100th second faster Alicia won her 400 meter freestyle race by 4 and 2500 seconds. How can you write this mixed number as decimal? Okay, so we need to write 4 and 2500 as decimal. First, we'll use the first way, which is use model and place value chart. So first, we need to shade 4 and 2500. So we need to shade four holes four holes this is one two three four holes And twenty five. This is ten twenty. And we will shade five more. One, two, three, four, five. So this is four and twenty five hundred. Okay, how can we write it? We write it four holes and twenty five hundredth. We read it four and twenty five hundred. Okay, how to write it in decimal? Okay, so let's write it in the place value chart. We can think of the four and twenty five hundred as four holes, four ones, and twenty hundred is two tenth. So we have two tenth, and we have five hundred. So if we put them in the chart here, we'll say four ones, two tenth, and five hundredth. So to write it, it will be four point two five, or we read it by the same way four and twenty five. Hundredth. Okay, so for example, if we have one and twelve hundredth, we'll write it like this one, then the decimal point, then we write the twelve. If we have, for example, three and four hundredth. This is equal, we write the 3, then the decimal point, and we don't have tenth here, we don't have tenth here, so write 0, then we write 4. Okay guys, so to say it's a hundredth, we must have two digits to the right of the decimal point, we must have two digits. Remember, you can, if you wrote, remember, if you wrote this 3.4, this will be wrong. This means three and four tenth. That's why we have to put this zero because we don't have any tenth here. We have only four hundredth. So to the right of the decimal point, we have tenth. Then the next digit is hundredth. So always remember the whole number we write it to the left of the decimal point. The digit to the right of the decimal point is the tenth, and the digit after it is the hundredth. Okay, so here is another way. We'll use the number line. Here we have four, four and ten hundredth, or we can write it like this: four and ten hundredth then four and twenty hundredth then four and thirty hundredth and we need twenty five we know that twenty five in, in the halfway in the middle between 
20 and 30 so it will be just right here so this is a 4 and 2500 in the halfway between 4 and 20 hundredth and 4 and 30 hundredth and if we need to complete this it will be 4 and 40 hundredth 4 and 50 hundredth 4 and 60 hundredth 4 and 70 hundredth 4 and 80 hundredth 4 and 90 hundredth so what names the same amount as 4 and 25 hundredth it's 4 then we write the decimal point in the 25 4 and 25 hundredth so Elisha won her race by 4 and 25 hundredth seconds and now for share and show shade the model to show 31 hundredth so we will shade 31 hundredth so 10 20 30 right here and we will shade one more so this is 31 okay so let's write it here in the place value chart we have no holes here so write zero then we have 31 we write it like this three then one the 30 hundredth are the same as 3 tenth so I bought the 3 then the 1 so I write 0 holes so 0 at once then the decimal point then I write the 31 okay so to write it as this move I write 0 then point then the 3 then the 1 here write the fraction or mixed number and the decimal shown by the model okay so here we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 so here's 68 hundredth this is as a fraction and if we need to write it in decimal we have zero ones we don't have any holes here then the decimal point then we write the 68 okay here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is 8 hundredth okay so we have zero ones again then the decimal point and we don't write the 8 now if we wrote the 8 this is the tenth place so we don't write the 8 here, we write 0 here, we don't have anything at the 10th place and we write the 8 here at the 100th place so this is 8 hundredth, don't forget this 0 here we need this number so if this is 6 and this is 6 and 50 hundredth this is 7, ok it means that if we move like this, this is 6 and 10 hundredths, this is and 20 hundredths, this is and 30 hundredths, this is and 40 hundredths, and this is 6 and 50 hundredths. So here, this is 6 and 10 hundredths, here 6 and 20 hundredths. So after 10, 11, 6 and 11 hundredths. 6 and 12 hundredth, 6 and 13 hundredth, and 14 hundredth, 15 hundredths, 16 hundredths, 17 hundredths, 18 hundredths, 19 hundredth. So just to be 20, it's the 19 hundredth. So this is 6 and 19 hundredth. So write it 6 and 19 hundredth. This is as mixed, and if we write it as at this move, we write it 6, then the decimal point, and we have two digits, we write them, the 19. Okay guys, so just a small thing to pay attention to it, if we have like 5 over 100, if we have only one digit in the numerator, and it's over 100, 
here we will write zero then point we don't have tenth so we have to write the zero the zero is really important and then we write the five don't forget this zero okay guys hope you enjoyed the lesson and please solve on your own questions and if you are in my class we'll discuss it on the live session have a nice day bye bye